Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I shared two ways you can make yam pounder at home without actually pounding. So to make this you need yam. Yam is also known as yuca. I have washed this. I'm now going to peel this and then cut into tiny cubes. Now when cutting you want to cut directly into a bowl of water so the yam don't change color. After cutting everything, rinse it out and then we begin with the first method. So for the first method, place the washed yam into a blender, add a little bit of water and blend until it is smooth. You don't want to add too much water because the amount of water you add is going to determine how soft or hard your pounder is going to turn out. So it's best to start off little by little and then top up if necessary. So once it is smooth, I'm going to transfer this into an empty saucepan. There is no water in the pan. Turn on the gas and then start stirring. Now you want to do this on medium heat and stir continuously so it doesn't form cooked lumps. Now once it thickens up like this, you're going to add some water and then cover for it to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. Today's hug is for Sandra Williams watching from Guyana. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. So now after about 10 minutes, I'll go in and stir until everything comes together and our first method is ready. Now to eat this, you can either serve immediately if you're going to eat as soon as you're done or wrap it up with plastic wraps and set aside so it doesn't dry out until you're ready to enjoy. For the second method, you want to peel the yam, rinse it again and add to your pot, add some water and cook until it is done. You know it is done when it easily comes off like this when tested with a fork and at this point we are going to transfer into a food processor and blend for about a minute and 30 seconds. You don't want to overdo this so you retain the stretch. Okay, so. After about a minute and 30 seconds, I'm going to take it off now and our second method is ready. Easy peasy. Let me know which of them is your favorite. Again, you want to wrap this up before I forget in a plastic wrap and set aside. This second method is my absolute favorite. It is stress-free and I really, really love the outcome. I hope this was helpful. Serve with any Nigerian soup of your choice. I had this with black soup and it was so delicious. I'll leave the link to the black soup in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.